In this quick tip tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this slider that adjusts only the spacing between your words like this. So obviously we're gonna do some expressions. So let's dive right in. We're gonna go into new composition here. We're gonna create a new text by double clicking on this a text icon. And we're gonna type something like one, two, three, four, five, doesn't really matter. And then we're gonna to go to the source text property of this text, select this, hit S twice to solo it, Alt click on the stopwatch to create an expression. In here, we're gonna create a made up variable. It's gonna be TXT, which is short for text, but you can type anything. And then we're gonna tell this variable to be the current text that we just typed. So like this, let's call it up on the next line. So if I click away, you can see that's the current text, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna to go to this text and we're gonna add on to it. We're gonna use a method called replace. There you go, replace method. And the way replace works, you have to define two things. So the first value is basically like what you want to replace. So in this case, we're gonna say, we wanna replace, let's do letter T, like this right here, right? Then the second one is like, what do you wanna replace it with? So we're gonna say, we wanna replace it with underscore. So when I click away, that's exactly what happened. So that's the concept of replace method. But what I wanna do, I wanna replace all the white space, basically like any white space that we have. It doesn't matter if it's space or anything. So, and the way it works is pretty simple. We're just gonna do two forward slashes. Then we're gonna go inside of it here. We're gonna insert a backslash or yeah, I think it's backslash. And then we're gonna say S. So backslash S is just a meta character for any white space. That's all that is. And if I click away, as you can see the first white space is now underscore. So it did exactly what it's supposed to, but we have other white spaces. How do we replace all of them? So to do that, you just have to do one simple thing. Just go to the end of it and, and type G. And there you go. That's how easy it is, but we're not done yet. So why do we want to replace the white space? So we want to replace the white space for another white space that we can adjust. So there are a number of them. You can have different sizes. So for example, in here, you can go over here and do backwards slash, I think. And then in here you can say something like you, it's a Unicode character which you can type 200. And then if you type any number after that, so one, it will ha give you kind of different kind of spacing. They're all different sizes. I mean, that's one way to do it, but that's not how we're gonna do it. Ah, it's hard to do it. There you go, three. You can even go to something like seven. So anyway, you can kind of shuffle through, through some of them and see which one works best for you. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna use one that's a very thin one. So if I replace the seven for A, so if it's 200 A, and if I click away, as you can see, I mean, it almost looks like there's no spacing, but there is actually like a one, I don't know how many pixels, probably like one pixel spacing. So if I replace this for a blank one, you can see it shifted slightly. So it's a very subtle spacing. Let's put it back in there. Now, what am I gonna do with that? Well, I'm going to repeat it a bunch of times. So let's do this. Let's create a new slider in here. We're gonna select this text, right click. We're gonna navigate over to expression controls. Let's click on the slider. We're gonna call this one word spacing. Okay, that's the slider that we're gonna adjust. So now we're gonna take this space that we're replacing uh, the white space with, and we're gonna use another method called repeat. Okay, in here, we can type any numbers. So we can say, hey, repeat it like 50 times. And in a way, you can see that we can repeat that little space multiple times. So that's how we can control it. But instead of typing a value in here, we're just gonna create a variable called something like word spacing. It can be anything. And I'm gonna pick up to this word spacing slider and we want the value of it. So from now on, instead of typing 50, we're just gonna replace it for word spacing, which is this value. But if I you know, click away, you can see it's set to zero, but now we can instantly adjust like that. So that's very useful, I mean, for all kinds of reasons. For example, maybe sometimes you are referencing CSV files or TSV files or JSONs, and uh, you just have the, the text. You don't really have access to kerning or anything like that. So you can instantly kind of separate all the words, adjust the spacing. So let me give you an example. So maybe instead of the text in here, maybe we um, can reference this current layer right here, and maybe we can say something like name. So it's the same thing, but I can say something like, I don't know, let's do one, two, three. I mean, it's the same concept. And as you can see, we have here, you can say something like maybe Eucra Media, Sergey, Proc, uh, you get the idea. And we have all the spacing, but again, I can call anything. And based on that, obviously like I can't really adjust kerning 
on it right now because it's it's referencing this but i can with this easily and also using tracking so i can adjust the kerning in here and i can also bring words together you get the idea so that's how easy it is to create your own custom spacing in after effects using simple expressions and with that i want to thank you for watching as always if you are not a part of our mentoring group on facebook it's totally free you should definitely check it out go to ukramedia.com community and my name is sergey Proknevsky, and i'll see you next time